Okay, so it showed up. Original part, it's the original number uh, off of the uh, parts breakout. I got it on here. Uh, let me be right back. I want to see if I can get a better light on this. So, it seems to. Oops, I'll show it where, where it's at. Okay, so it does seem to fit a little better. Um, it comes with the spacer, which the other starter didn't come with, and it also came with this and the bolt, the little screw, metal sheet metal screws that come with it. So it's just a cover that goes on there. So I'm going to paint it. Uh, it's better than the one I had, and I'm missing the screws from the one I had too. So, uh, but here we'll just. That's about, I want to say that's about seven or eight starts so far, and it seems to be working. I did put a little silicone grease on here just to help it slide in and out, so we'll see what happens. Fingers crossed, that's the fix. Okay, so I should probably point out that this starter alone came in a small box, barely, the starter barely fit in it with the gear. This was about $20 less than this, which came with the starter, the gear, of course, this cover, the screws for it, which are hard to get otherwise, and uh, the bracket, the spacer. The spacer, by the way, I put on here, you can kind of see it right there, and it did push this back just a little bit. And when it did that, this now slides in and out so much easier. So I don't know if that's supposed to be there, but I'm going to leave it. And I'm thinking it's supposed to be, and that's why the starter wasn't working. It also came with these instructions. And a template down here, in case yours has the cutout here, which mine does. Um, sorry about the moving around, but you get the idea. So it's basically the same thing, except you'll notice um, mine has a little, or the one that was on there had that little indent. Oops, where is it? Right there. Whereas the one, this one, <laughs> if I can get the camera right, this one has no uh, relief. This one has a little bit of a relief here. It's kind of hard to see, but see the, see how it, there's like this little relief here. Whereas this one, how do I have that? This one doesn't have that at all. But I checked it and I don't need it. So I'm just going to leave it right and I scuffed it up. It's going to get a coat of paint. And I'm going to put it back on. But then uh, the pulley that drives the front PTO came off because a little e-clip that the little e-clip that goes on here to hold it fell off somewhere, so I'm going to have to find, I'm going to have to get another one. I don't have any extras, but that's okay. I don't need it for anything, so it can stay off for right now. It doesn't matter. And then my tire keeps going flat. I mean, like, I put air in it five minutes later, it's flat. So I'm going to have to deal with that now. So, but overall, I hope it it's fixed now. Seems like it's going to be fingers crossed that it is. X. Okay, it's back together and cleaned up a little bit. I got uh, some repairs to do here. Um, you can see where the paint's like scratched off from this hitting it. I, I've moved it away now. It won't. It really, it really won't hit it anymore. But still. And then here we're last winter the wind. I had the hood open, I was checking the battery, and the wind blew it right into the snow thrower and just chipped the paint. I'm surprised it didn't dent as hard as it got hit. But um, So I guess time will tell if that's the fix or not. Seems like I said, it seems to be starting okay. I fired it up, rode it around the yard a few times, washed it, brought it back in. I didn't do a great job, you can see there's still mud there, but it was running when I was washing it and I didn't want to... You can see it's still wet a little bit. <coughs> um, 
So I think we're good.